Hello everyone and welcome back. I know it's been a while. Uh, my husband and I just got back from the most amazing road trip to New England and I want to spend a day just kind of resetting my house and getting it ready to fall back into a normal routine again. So I'm going to take you with me along the way to show you how I reset my house after I come back from a long vacation. And I have my list here of things that I need to get done today. I need to meal plan and grocery shop, empty the suitcases, do a load of laundry. I need to do a discussion board and a quiz for school. I need to vacuum and mop, balance the budget, and put away all of the books that we bought on our trip. And so Tyler is home with me today. He builds in an extra day whenever he takes his PTO so that he can be with me to kind of help reset the house because it is a lot of work. And so I'm going to do that today and show you everything that I do. And hopefully we can get it all done. And I think I'm going to start with kind of just unpacking our suitcases and putting the load of laundry into the washing machine because I think that's going to be the easiest place to start and from there I'll move on to meal planning and grocery shopping. So let's get started. suitcases and our bags we both packed very very lightly so it only took me about five minutes to unpack everything but what's going to take me a very long time is this ginormous mountain of laundry that I have now I am strictly against laundry on vacation so I would much rather bring it home and just do it whenever I have the free time I like to spend my vacations and my trips exploring and doing everything else so I am going to sort this laundry and Hopefully at least get a load done today. I'll probably save another load for tomorrow since this is a bunch of laundry. folding the laundry, Tyler was actually downstairs finishing the vacuuming and the mopping. So I can mark both laundry and vacuuming and mopping off of our list for today. And so since I'm already up here, I think I'm going to actually put away the books that we got while we were gone. Tyler and I 
somehow always find a bookstore wherever we go and we always come back with a bunch of books. So I need to spend some time kind of making room on our bookshelves for that and just finding room wherever we can put them. And then after that, I think I'm going to work on my discussion board and my quiz. I think I might just do my quiz today and leave the discussion board for tomorrow because my discussion board is going to take quite a bit more work and I don't feel like I have the energy to do that today. So I'll do the quiz today and my discussion board tomorrow and then I will move on to meal planning and grocery shopping. Let's find some room for these books. <music> to add a new one but which we're saving for right now but I'm just dealing with it for now until we can get a new one next I'm going to meal plan and grocery shop which is going to take the most amount of time but with the system that I use it goes really quickly let's do that and then we'll check in whenever I'm done <music> Quite a bit longer than it usually is. We kind of ate through our fridge and our freezer and our cabinets before we left so we really didn't have a lot to work with. I think this is all that we had in everything and so I did get one two three four five six meals planned for the week because obviously we didn't have to plan for Monday uh, so I have six meals. Uh, I think we're going to go to the grocery store now we go to two different grocery stores. We go to Ruler Foods first, which is kind of a sect of Kroger because everything is so much cheaper there. So we get everything that we can at Ruler. And then I think we're gonna head over to Walmart and get our things like our cat food and the stuff that we can't get at Ruler. And so we're gonna go do that now. I'm going to come back and check in after we're done to tell you all how much I spent and what I plan on doing with everything. So let's go. I think it was about 110 usually we budget $75 per week for groceries but since we were gone last week and since we didn't have a lot to begin with we budgeted double this time and we didn't really even come close to going over that budget so that was good 
and we did get a big bag of cat food and some cans of wet cat food so it was actually less uh, less than 110 for our groceries because our pet care and food does go into a separate part of the budget so we spent less than a hundred dollars for all of these groceries which was nice um, I'm going to leave a link to how I meal plan and budget for groceries in the description because I really think this method of meal planning is the best way to grocery shop and it has cut our grocery bill in half. And I swear by this method, especially with inflation being as bad as it is. And so I'm going to leave that in the description if you're interested in it. It is Jordan Page's shelf cooking method, which I tell everyone about. and. So I hope that helps you. If you're in need of some grocery shopping tips, so I'm gonna put all of these groceries away. I didn't really get anything interesting. I've seen people like show off what they get in terms of groceries, but I don't really have anything here that is too interesting or worth of note. I did get, I got these really pretty spray roses. I like to keep fresh flowers in the kitchen back here just to give it a little, extra character throughout the week so I love to bring fresh flowers into the house so that's really the only thing I got and I got a few of these sparkling ice drinks I really like these in the summer I don't usually buy bottled beverages I just drink water from the tap because our water is really clean here and so I usually just drink water and maybe put a packet of electrolyte powder in it but I did want a little something this week just to drink for lunch and so I'm gonna put these groceries away, and then I'll be ready to move on to the next thing. I just sat down to do my quiz um, that should only take me about five minutes but I think after I do my quiz I'm going to be finished for the day besides folding the laundry that still has a few more minutes left so I'm going to do this quiz really quick and then hopefully hopefully I can be done for the day and ignore this mess behind me I'm getting ready to kind of reset this room but that is a project for a different day so let me do this quiz real quick and then I can finally be done. Since I'm done with my quiz, I can finally be done for the day. Besides folding our laundry, everything that I could do today is done. Tomorrow, I do have to do the other load of laundry. I have to do my discussion board and a couple of more homework assignments, and I need to balance our budget. But I'm going to save that for tomorrow when I have a little extra time. And so I'm going to sign off for the day. I am happy with the progress that we made even though there is still some stuff to be done and I'm going to start thinking about supper and relaxing for the evening. And so I hope you enjoyed this look into what it looks like whenever I reset my house after a vacation. And hopefully the next video you will be seeing my travel diary. And so I'm really excited for that one. Um, so be on the lookout for that and hopefully I am back more regularly since we took a vacation and I'm feeling really good afterwards. I feel like I have energy to actually do something and so I'm going to try to record a little bit more often. Uh, I don't like to put pressure on myself to say that I'm going to get one out every week, but we'll see what happens. So thank you for being here with me. I am so happy to be back. Let me know what you want to see and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.